Actually reporting there, well, the UK government is facing huge criticism for being too slow to process refugee visas for those fleeing Ukraine. As it stands, around 500 have been completed. Our political correspondent Ben Schofield is here with me. You've been speaking to some of the Russian community here. Yes, I have. And let me say first off that uh, everyone that I spoke to today uh, is in no doubt that the people who are suffering most in this war are Ukrainians themselves. However, Russians over here are seeing their country become ever more isolated on the global stage. McDonald's, for instance, uh, this evening announcing that they are going to temporarily suspend and close their stores in Russia. Uh, we're also seeing, of course, acts of aggression and brutality from the Russian state on our television screens each evening. Uh, and that is making certain aspects of life in this country for Russians and Russian speakers rather uncomfortable. Embarrassed and ashamed to some extent. Demetrius Flaudus, a Greek international law expert and advisor to the Cambridge University Russian Society. Some of its members have received hate mail and are in, he says, a difficult situation. In order to continue functioning as accepted members of the society here in Britain, they have to denounce the war. If they do that, then there is a high possibility that they may face repercussions when and if they decide to go back. Demetrius, who's worked in Moscow as a trade expert, believes war had been on the cards for years. Its consequences will last at least as long. Ben Schofield, BBC Look East.